The Three C's in Life Choice, Chance and Change You must make the choice to take the chance if you want anything in life to change. Good morning and welcome to a Friday with a piece of paper. We're almost through May month. How has your month been? We're having elections in South Africa next week, Wednesday, and we're trusting for a positive outcome, which will be a positive change. But in the same breath, I'm looking at change within us. Never be afraid of change. You may lose something good, but you gain something even better. Don't let the entire staircase overwhelm you. You just focus on the first step. So what's happening in your life where you think you're at a point where you're at a fork in the road or you're at a T-junction? Do I go left? Do I go right? Do I follow the bend? Excuse me. Or do I carry on straight? Here's some, a quote I read which motivated me more for change. Always stand up for what you believe in, even if it means you stand alone. Fight your battles through prayer and win your battles through faith. So there's lots of things we can look at. Baby steps. I always say baby steps. I think that's my go-to at the moment. But when you need big change and drastic change, I think we need to step up and pray. Step up as a family. Get a, get a um, healthy same right-minded thinking, supporting you people. I've got a group of friends that I can lean on, very few, but very um, lean on, and I know they've got my back. So if you want change and you want to do something, I would say send out a prayer party, send out a prayer chain, start something. But nothing will change if you if you change nothing. So yeah, so the change starts with us. But as for us in South Africa, may we have a blessed and peaceful election. May everyone inside them decide where they'd like change and what they'd like change. But as for me, this is the end of Friday and the end of the week. Let me correct that. And it's the beginning of the weekend, the end of the day. Let me know what time you knock off work. Um, I know some people only work half day. Some people work till three, maybe four. Let me know what your plans are for the weekend. I'm having downtime. The last two weeks have been crazy. I am pushing my exam. And I have to do a lot of practical by then. But so I'm putting my feet up this weekend I think I'm on a Netflix binge, spend quality time, and see how it goes. You know what to do. Next week, last Friday of May, have a blessed weekend.